Hello, everybody. We're back for episode nine. Yeah. I'll read the title. Saruman and Wesley in The Evil That Stomped Quickville. Cool. All right, you want to read? You want to do uh, Yellow Chick and I'll be, I'll be okay. Chris Chan and Wesley? Might as well. Here, Chris, I think this belongs to you. Thank you. Who are you? My hedgehog name is Sarama. Excuse me. You know what's interesting? Hmm? Sarama's never going to appear ever again. Hmm. Mm, Walter Grisby. Oh, do I have to do that voice again from you can way, do, way You can do that though. voice if you okay, want. Okay, I'll do that voice. I had given you my heart and soul, and you dare to harm my best friend? <coughs> best friends with Chris. You you don't have any friends. Air quotes. No, Chris just, like, I think... <gasps> Nicole. <laughs> That's it. Nicole? No, Nicole. <laughs> Nicole. I can't believe you would do a thing like that, but you did. I should have never hooked up with you. Hooked up? Nicole, is that you? No, Why it's is... not, because Chris did not just say that two seconds ago. You know what's interesting? Mm. That uh, he's supposed to have the arrow shot in his chest, the lightning arrow, which is fine. He's supposed to have the lightning arrow in his chest, but the way it's drawn there, it's not really in his chest. It it's... sort of looks like it's part of his fruity costume, because slightly to the right... Maybe it hit him and then fell down. And then it's just, like, hanging off of his nipple. It, yeah. She shot him in the nipple, Like, too. have you ever been hit with a tack? Like, someone... Have you ever, like... Like got poked with something, and then you're like, ah! And it like just hangs there. Yes, that's. I think that's what that happened. It, that's like probably him, what happened. And then but he she like, shot him with an arrow, which doesn't really make and sense. And maybe he yanked it out a little bit. I don't know. I guess it makes sense. Whatever. I don't know. This Next page. Logic. See, Whoa. and then there yeah. it's it's I, I vertical see, yeah. or horizontal, whichever. Horizontal equals horizon. <laughs> really? <laughs> that's how I learned with my teachers. <laughs> then what does the other one mean? Fuck. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Vertical's yes. the opposite. Yes, Wes, and I say that we are through. I don't love you anymore. That voice is annoying. No. He looks like he's just shrugging when he's like... Arr. He sort of looks like he's like, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that was bad. It's like shrugging in different scenarios. Look at Chris. He's just over there in the background just like... Mm. He's like, I should draw myself in this page. There we go. I know, like, he doesn't need to be there. Exactly. Honestly. This is like a moment for them, but I feel like he's the kind of guy that's just, like, in the bushes, just... <sighs> <sighs> Five minutes of Tony and me breathing. <laughs> just jerking off. <laughs> okay, now she's got lips. You know, it's kind of funny, jerking off, and it looks like Wesley's over there jerking it. <laughs> <that> Regardless. <laughs> Regardless. That's Tony's quote. I should leave you bound to that tree, but the tree of us... But the tree of us. The tree of us, the, the trio of trees. <laughs> uh, the three of us are dis destined to destroy the evil being that, l that is lurking somewhere. You must form the Fellowship of the Trees to stop Sauron. <laughs> <laughs> you must form the Fellowship of the Trees to stop the... the, tr the cu I can't even... I, that, gotta, that joke is going He's gotta stop anywhere. the smog villain from uh, Fern Gully. Oh my god, when I was little, I used to love that movie. That yeah, movie's really good when you're little, and then I once you get to like 10, you're it. just like... Oh, the one that part terrible. that I remember of it, when they're flying on beetles, and they just rip through that dude's house, the trailer park, and they're just like, This is fucking amazing! And then their fat one is in like nacho cheese. I it's remember... Like, ah! And that's all I remember of I it. remember most of the movie. I especially remember the bat, because he was voiced by... Um, uh, somebody. If I'll remember his name, I'll say uh, Yeah, it. so is Spongebob. Spongebob is voiced by somebody. I know, and but so it's somebody Goku. who's famous. Is, so is Goku. He's voiced by somebody famous. So is everybody, but this guy's, <laughs> anybody who this guy's relevant. <laughs> All right. Ow, I hurt in three places. I don't understand. <laughs> if, if you understand what the third place is, please let him know. Yeah. Let us know, I'm yeah, assuming. You guys, you guys are good at keeping up with that, but I have no idea what he's trying to make with that. I Okay, his heart. You know, his heart, his heart, his metaphorically, his heart physically, because she shot him. And I don't and know what the last one is. Maybe his asshole. I was gonna. S I was actually about to say. I think it's his asshole because I think Chris shoved his huge ass hand up his and he's asshole. Just like, Man, this and weird. now he's smelling it right now. That's what I think just happened. What the fuck is that? And then Sarah Moss just like, what the fuck are they doing? Why does she have lips in this one panel? Or is that they don't even look one? like lips. They look like I feel like his rep re representation of lips is just like I'm gonna. Just no, do he drew a, a circle and then just <laughs> exactly red. Just cut himself. Why like, does she? Does she have heart shaped Pikachu things? Yeah, she has heart shaped. Okay, I uh, just noticed that. Pikachu puffs. And that's really retarded. 
It is really retarded. She also doesn't have pants. Uh, she has a shirt, but no pants. Um, I, um, maybe I don't she doesn't get have it. a vagina. I feel like maybe Sonichus reproduce by just putting cheeks together, then just rubbing vigorously and make static status electricity babies. Maybe they're like the Navi because they all have tails and they just sort of shove their tails together. Maybe. 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 I don't want to know this, to be honest. <sighs> oh yeah, the prophesized evil. I wonder where it's gonna strike. I don't know. Maybe because there's only one city. Uh, God, it really does look like he's sniffing. His it feet. does look like he's sniffing it. And look at the tree in the. I know we've been on this panel forever, but look at the tree. Look at where they are. They're literally in the middle of a big salt marsh, and then, <laughs> then there's a tree. I don't even think it's a salt marsh. I think it was supposed to be a field. That's like that's like really game bad game planning. Like in the beta version of a uh, Ocarina of Time, they had Hyrule Field, and it was gonna be like a platform. And then the places that you go into, they're like, "Fuck, we need places to do." And they put one tree in the middle of the place. <laughs> oh yeah, just literally one tree. And I'm like, "Well, they have Lon Lon Ranch." Yeah, that was before. They like, we need fillers. Let's add multiple trees. You know what Whoa! they did is they just put a bunch of trees, and then they have that big ass like f- fucking like spin around monster that comes out of the ground. And Those things scared the living. Christ! I know. Out of me. The first time I played the game, I'm like, ooh, what's that? And I ran over to it. I thought it was like a like a shop. For, like, for, to be completely honest, because my first uh, Legend of Zelda game was Twilight Princess. Hate me. I don't care. But <laughs> it's well, a good way to start. It's yeah, it was. It got, I'm like, this game's fucking awesome. But Hyrule Field. I found these things. I'm like, these kind of look like shops. Ran up to it. <laughs> what the fuck is that? They're called thought, P-hats. That's what they are. P-hats. See, I thought it was like some sort of thing where if I threw a bomb into it, then it would open like a cave. Yeah. You know? I thought it was something that was a game mechanic that would unlock an area for me. Yeah. And then I went over it and it was like... <laughs> and like I did shit out of me. I didn't, I didn't know that... It, they take forever to kill, too. Because you always go and you have the weakest... Uh, let's get off that subject. Let's get off this. All right. Oh, God. Father! No! <laughs> yes, Sonichu... I just got a call from Rosie. There's a rock monster destroying Quickville. Because why the fuck not? I like how he's just like kind of sort of in the panel. Like he's like he's I have mild there. important. It's like I have mild importance. Like it's kind of like um. I know the comics named after me, but I'm not that important. Like in TV shows, whenever they do like someone's really like someone just got overpowered by something and they just pop up in the corner like yeah, it's okay. It's okay. yeah yeah I'm I'm here you know <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> this must be the evil Sonichu. Go on ahead. We'll catch up. Okay. okay. You know, can't Sonichu just deal with the monster? Because he didn't. I mean, he killed something else. He killed the perfect chaos monster. I yeah. mean, sure, he had Sonic helping him. Where the fuck is Sonic? I know. By the Sonic way? is dead. Just <laughs> he got Sonic, hit by a rock. Sonic just died. I don't even like the Sonic. Game. <laughs> it's it's I like if he can take out the perfect chaos monster, he can take out this stupid rock golem, which we're gonna see in a minute, which looks like a toaster. Anyway, <laughs> Nicole, there's a rock monster destroying the city of Quickville. May it may be the evil. No shit. Just in case you didn't <laughs> Just in hear Sonic. Hear us, and we were four feet away from you. Yeah. Then we have to. We have no choice. We have to go destroy it. Chris, stay there next to him. Chris, stay there next to him. What? Why is he asking what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, that's what like, are we doing? <laughs> it's like um every five year old ever. I'm still trying to massage my asshole after Chris raped it. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> they should just draw at the end of his. Just, just <laughs> is him sniffing it. <laughs> is that chocolate on your fingers? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Let's fly. Let's fly. Chris, which way to Quigville? Right, Nicole. About twenty miles due north th- that way. All Whoa! Right. This is the best levitation trick ever. You know, you know, I know that magic tr- I think he's trying to imply to a magic trick. Yes, he is. Before I actually say why he said that, look at the cloud directly in the middle. I know. It looks it's like a mustache. Like, it does. Anyway. It does. And, of course, the mountain down there looks like a bag of sugar. <laughs> anyway. The reason he's saying this is because Wesley, the character, this Sonichu character, is based off a real-life magician who happened to date Sarah Hammer, who the Sarah Ma character is based off of, which I guess pisses Chris off, sort of. So he should by pissing him off, he wants them to work together in the comic. And he but should learn he hates him in real life. Get over it, I guess. <laughs> Make like a bridge and get the fuck over it. <laughs> Never heard that. Whoa, said. map scope. More I hate map, map scope. scopes. Oh, you know because we really need to know that Rosa Chu's over there near the mall. You know, just cause she she has mild relevance. Isn't Sana Chu the most like? Isn't he the fastest thing on Earth? And look at him, he's like trailing in the back. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Maybe he's you know, stuck you in think, gum. You think they'd be going slower because Sarah Ma has to levitate three people and move them forward. Yeah. But nah, she's like, pew! 
All right. Moments ago. We shouldn't ponder this. Narrator. The city of Quickville, a vibrant community with happy people, cool chicks, business, and a frustrating male. Crash. Crash. What's going on? Oh, no. That's a giant golem destroy monster and, w and that witch. <laughs> Slow this, you. This looks like a shitty, like, Power Rangers episode idea. <laughs> Everybody's hanging out. That oh, show, shit, a rock golem. That show when you're little is the most fucking amazing show ever because it's every time amazing. someone punches... Mm, hit the wire. I'm not here. But every time someone punches anything, just sparks and explosions flew off. I don't know why that... Ah, keep touching that. Stop every touching time, the wire. It's kind of hard when it's right on my my lap. It's cool. <laughs> Fine, don't worry about it. But, um... Like, every time they hit them, just these explosion of sparks went off. I don't know. I think that the best episode was the one where they fought a giant purse. What? Are you kidding the, me? One of the monsters they happened to fight was a purse monster. It was a man in a unitard, and then, so the bottom half was, like, gray unitard, and then the top half was a purse monster, and it, like, I I vaguely remember that it took out, like, purse items, like a mirror and shit, and, like, re reflected attacks or something the like that. The only one that lipstick. I remember, because it was so laughably bad, was the lobster monster one. We had, he's just lobster like, monster. Yeah! He like got up, and every time that he moved, like you saw the gloves and the hat like jiggle, like because you knew that they were just in giant costumes. Yeah, but still, it was awesome when you were little. And why does the golem just a little bit look like they took? It's got it like, looks like segmented body parts. No, it looks like it's a a pharaoh mixed with s something possibly from Shadow of the Colossus. Sort of. I need to buy that game. I can shatter many hearts with this golem. No, you can't. You can blow up a city, though. Why don't you just find him and just and do we'll it. take over the world. You bet, ancient spirit. Meh. Me. Right. The, the Cherokee and Wasabi clans may have put away, put me away for centuries, but I will rule the world, Wait. because why not? Wait a minute. Cherokee and... Why doesn't he just say the Cherokee clan? I don't... I don't know. That's I, proper English. I think the proper English would be the Cherokee clan, but Cherokeean is what he thinks it is. Because it sounds cool? No. No, it sounds kind of dumb. <laughs> what is the golem doing over there? I know it's supposed to be lifting its foot up to Stomp crush a building, but... But I feel like he just got blown over by a wind. I think he's dancing. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh no, that thing is huge! Mmm! <laughs> We have to take it down, Chris. You know this world better than it. You know this world. Any ideals? Is there a yeah, con in there? Because this world is so it. much different. If this was happening in the real world, you totally wouldn't know what to do. Shoot if, it with a bazooka. If that's yeah, in the real world, tanks shoot its knees. Then when it's there, they just leave it. Then you leave it there, and then you dissect it, make weapons out of it for the military. Yada yada. Make armor. <laughs> I think so, Nicole. Or I think so, Nicole. Shoot some arrows into its knees. Wes, its eyes. Its eyes. <laughs> Wes, fire up its knees. Those things always have weak knees. Because he's fought multiple golems before. And we're totally going to see this used later in the comic. <laughs> nope. I'll go for its heart spot. Let's... Oh, my broken heart. Uh, yeah. And I don't know what's going on. What's the point? One, one teardrop coming out of up. the frame. <laughs> <was about> to <laughs> say. Buck, Buck up. up. My heart was previously shattered, and I'm not complaining. We have to destroy the monster before it destroys the city. Let's move. S uh, meanwhile... Sonichu, father, if you're all involved in fighting that monster, please be careful. We've been over this before. I'm crisscross applesauce. <laughs> I'm going to watch, because this is helpful. But uh, we've been over this before. The the joint, but and the bacon fire. But what I was saying was... She calls Chris her father, and she's dating Sonichu. And they're both and father and, and incest. And brother and, and sister, like Adam. And why and the Eve. fuck does she never do anything useful? And <laughs> I'm gonna sit here and shop. Nothing churns my matzo balls more. You know Joke what's kind of weird? Is that the bacon fire? The bubbles put t the bacon fire. Well, there's the bacon fire. The fact that Sonichu's smoking a joint. This and will kill you. And you know what? What's also strange is. If you look at the perspective of the bow and the arrow. Now, if you look, she looks fine, you know, it's proportioned. But if you were, because that's really, really far away, the arrow, it shouldn't be that huge. It's It should, in fact, be a speck in his eye. So if she was to be holding that, it would be huge. When you look at the other panels, maybe the arrow like stays the same size. But in this one, it doesn't. Maybe it it's like, have Just you ever watched thing. Digimon? Because in Digimon, whenever they did an attack, they're like, one of the one of them was like Angel Amon, and she had a. I used to watch that show. Don't judge me. I had it had an arrow, and then it was like Super Arrow, and it just <laughs> it fucking humongous. So it's like, Wah! 
So Mario from the Super Mario Brothers Super Show happened to narrate Digimon? Yes. Super Arrow! <laughs> Alright, so... Mama Luigi! <laughs> so they defeat the giant toaster monster, uh, who now has eyes, as you can see. And turns into a brontosaurus. Turns into a brontosaurus, and they do a super mega team ice blue fireball ball. attack ice cream thing. <laughs> and, you know, what's interesting is that's supposed to be, like, wind, I guess... But, but to just, me, it looks like because Wesley's at the bottom, he's just like, sh- he's like, that's the shitting water. That's the coming out of his ass after Chris butt raped him. That would make sense. He's either shitting water, <gasps> jizzing really hard, or that's leftovers, that's sloppy seconds from Chris. <laughs> Ew. Oh, God. I've never heard anybody say that. Ew. No. Sloppy seconds, I thought, was just you having sex with somebody after somebody already had sex with them. Like, directly after. I guess, but... It, like, in, you just push him off in and this, turn. <laughs> In this context, <laughs> it's just that, that that's gross. That image is not going to leave my head. Ooh. Yes. All right. Anyway, you three may have thwarted our plans, but we will meet again. For I am Count Groudon. I feel like we should just put Groudon's head like on that whenever we see the scepter. <laughs> I really want to, but that's too much work because the scepter is everywhere. Oh, okay. That orb is talking. The evil we're supposed to destroy is him, and so will Ryan has his cage. Until Wait, another day, hedgehogs. Wait, he lives in a cage? Well, Count Groudon was a wizard, and he's condemned to oh. be in that orb, so that's the metaphorical cage. Oh, cause I got, just because uh, we call us call him Groudon, I just get this image of like her running away with like this little cage and a mini Groudon. It's like, motherfucker! <laughs> Let me out of here! <laughs> I'm Groudon, damn it! <laughs> just shaking it. You know what's kind of funny? Look at Wesley over there. Just the way that her arm is there, I feel like he has a huge boner, and she's covering it up with her arm like Austin <laughs> Power style. Censored. <laughs> the movie's awesome. It is. No. So you got a little midget in you? No, no, I don't. Thanks. Would you like to? Ew. <laughs> no. Use in use in chasing them now. What? Use in chasing them now. Use in chasing them now. Are we gonna ponder this one sentence for? No. A use minutes? in chasing them now, since we will meet a. No use in chasing them now. Oh, and that's a comma. There needs to be a comma there. That's a P. There needs to be a comma there for me to read that correctly. Yeah. And for some reason, Slow Wheel turned into a mosaic painting in the in the first panel because she no one segmented away. like that. F- Motherfucker! <laughs> I got here as fast as I could, but it looks like I'm late because I was bullshitting around. Don't worry about it, Sonic. Don't worry about it, Sonic. You. We three save the day. Yeah, and then they transform back into their even Holy more shit, retarded she's forms. She's got huge ass boobs. And then she's, she's got the biggest fucking boobs ever. And she then has her arms huge are like boobs. Twigs. No, her arms are twigs, but they're really long. They're like Slenderman. That's arms. why. <laughs> that's why her boobs just stand out. So I think he's trying to flatter her. I, d- I feel like he is. So Chris and Wesley. So Chris, how do we get back to Ruckersville from here? Uh, There's a work portal at my mayoral office at the Quickville Mall. I'll, I'll get us get a cab. cab. You know, instead of us turning back into our hedgehog things and running there. Or having Sonichu pick us up. Yeah. And he's Wesley's here. evil because he's looking away and he's five feet away from them and he's <laughs> frowning. and meh. I farted and it's starting to smell. I farted. I hope you don't I just notice. farted and it's starting to, to smell. <laughs> All right. Epilogue. Later in Chris's Epilogue. room. Epilogue. Uh, you can do her, and I'll Great. be Chris. Uh, fucking, I'm Olga! <laughs> Look at her! <laughs> da. And then you have Chris, who's a giant balloon, who's just like, who's just like, ah, baby face balloon. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> okay. Are you okay, Nicole? Yeah, I'm fine. I just feel concerned since you broke up with Walter. Don't worry about it, Chris. We've had previous disputes. Besides, he did lack something. A penis. <laughs> but I made up for it with mine. I just get this image mm. of like him just having like a vagina with a ball sack on it. <laughs> and then him getting like lipstick like a dog when he's like, Yeah. yeah. Like, I feel like fuck? she has a dick with a clitoris at the end of it. So just any hanging. you have Bible Black. Yes. If anybody who knows what Bible Black is, there's li- this is literally the premise of the show. I'm a really hot girl. I just had sex with a guy. I'm an evil lady. I'm going to steal you, tie you by chains by your legs, and give you a dick. And they all, literally, that's it's what it the is. the worst like, premise Whoa! ever. That's what I'm doing on Halloween. I'm going to watch that, and I'm going to count how many girls have dicks in that entire movie. Because every time it's a dick with like a... <laughs> You need it, to and spend your time doing less ridiculous things. Anyway, it's funny because it's terrifying. I see. So, do you have someone else in mind, or are you going to take it easy for a while? Well, I did have someone else in mind. He's big and strong mm. and handsome. 
Really? Does he have a name? No. Yeah. <laughs> no, is it is, No. He's uh it's, his name is um Vibromatic. Vibromatic the gnome vibrator 10,000. Ew! Oh, God. There's actually, you can buy them. There's little vibrators. How do you know? See, I watch weird pornography because it's funny. No, there's You're these looking little, up dildos, man. There's these little vibrators that you can buy that are that are in the shape of gnomes from World of Warcraft, and you can send them requests like, this is what my gnome looks like, and then they'll make it out of your gnome. That's fucking It's gross. really funny. Yes, his name is William. Uh, Doe. where am I reading next? You're reading Doe, and then the um, long thing. Doe? Well, as long as he makes you feel happy, if he ever lets you down and out, just come to me. You may cry on my shoulder as much as you need. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate your concern. Don't be a stranger. Please be sure to stop by for a visit whenever you're in the neighborhood. It's always great to have you around, best friend. Uh, I, Chris and Weston Chandler, dedicate this page to my lifelong friend, Sarah Hammer. Who never We've known each other again. since we were about two years old. I now present some of our fun times together. Wait, uh, doesn't, doesn't she like just not talk to him ever and he just follows her Yes, around? I believe she's, um, he's Married. drawn many females that he knows in real life in the comic but I believe she's the one who doesn't actually, nobody knows really much about her. Like, trolls have hunted down and met Meg all. Chan and people like that but nobody really knows much about her to my knowledge off the top of my head and it's speculated that she doesn't even know that the comic exists. Interesting. That's, um, can't you get arrested? Because he was just, like... I don't think he drew porn of her, so I don't think he can get arrested. But we, we um, gotta look that up later. I know that sounds weird, because we're two best friends. He might get arrested. Porn, but if it exists, he can get arrested for that. <laughs> if you're just hanging around with your friends looking at Sonichu hey, porn... Hey, what do you want to do? Let's look up some Sonichu porn. Hell yeah! You're either, like... Look at the you either have a sick sense of humor like me, or you're just really, really lonely and don't know what good porn is. Like me! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> like, just like Dane. <laughs> oh, I know what good porn is. We are shared. Trust me. We shared fun on her swing set. We enjoyed the slide and individual in individual swings. Yep. Okay, <laughs> individual <laughs> individual like, swings. I feel like he, she has like that. She like if they were neighbors, she's the one that you're the like. Have you ever had that neighbor? They have like that really really high class like play set. Dude, that was me. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> you know what me. my swing set is? Y'all, you've been over my house, but it's just a tire hanging from a tree. I had You're one like, of those too. Yeah. Fuck I had you. A I had a tire swing, a pool, a swing set. And I had a tree fort. You're a douche. I you know built what I most had? of that. I had a fucking tire swing, a wheat field. Like literally oh, and I had a sandbox, too. That mu oh, fuck. Well, I had the sandbox. I used to eat the sand. But <laughs> I was <laughs> weird. I was weird when I was little. I sand. Mm. Ah! Were we reading a comic? <laughs> no. We were talking about our childhood. Right. <laughs> anyway. Uh, blah, blah, blah. They went on the swing set. Oh, and we had fun chatting on the swing set built for two. That sounds like a shitty song. In a swing set built for two. Uh, like anyway. I feel like um her his definition of like the swing <laughs> hide set hide and for seed. Two. Where does it say hide that? and seed was always worth a laugh. That no? sounds like that sounds like a uh, a sort of rapist type thing. You know, like she hides and then the rapist finds her and plants a seed. As terrible <laughs> no. as that sounds. <laughs> no, it's he, it's um. Uh, fuck. I completely forgot where the joke was Whatever. going. Whatever. I failed that. So then today. there's the then there's the toothpaste roller skates, of course. <laughs> One time she tried to teach me to roller skate, but I fell, cried, and gave up. It hurt a bit. Okay. Wow, you just give up on everything, don't uh, you? The dildo with the one anal spike on it? Yes. Um, uh, the baseball bat, which kind of looks like a fish dildo. Uh, the blah, blah, blah. Currently I don't get to see her as much as I did because she found herself a boyfriend while I was in Richmond. But I often wonder how she is and if she is happy with him. I share my troubles with her in my illustrations, letters, and over the phone. I always appreciate the little, the little moments I have with her. I feel like he just calls her and like leaves her messages every day. <sighs> I fantasize you when I masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. You make me feel like a man. <laughs> anyway, end of Sonichu episode 9 and issue 2. Good. We'll see you guys on the next comic mm -hmm. issue episode. Bye. Bye.